Hi, Yuri is here, and in this video I'd like to talk about this tripod from Sirui. Why it fails and how to fix it. I own this tripod for three and a half years, and uh, it's compact, relatively light, um, has a standard ball head. Each leg has five segments, they are very easy to open, close. Uh, foam helps in cold weather, kind of standard tripod. However, uh, roughly a year ago, it failed to me. Two of the segments stopped working. And uh, this failure is associated with internal structure of the segments. So internally, each of them uh, has these special uh, plastic shims. These shims, they play like a three roles. First, they kind of help to guide uh, the, the, the segments in and out. Second one is uh, they act as a stoppers to prevent the segment falling out. And uh, they uh, prevent each segment from twisting. So you can open and close each of them individually. And uh, so they um, look um, the following. Here is a close up. And uh, so this is a uh, rounded shims with uh, uh, those, those stoppers which go into the uh, opening holes in the aluminum so that they can move uh, together with the segment. Um, and so each time when you open them, a lot of stress applied to those shims, especially when you do it like this. And those rounded um, stoppers plastic stoppers, they kind of break. So that's what happened to me. That time I reached out to Sirui and they, they were so kind that they sent me new ones and I installed them and everything's fine. However, um, a week or two ago, uh, the tripod failed again to me. And again, it was the second segment. And uh, this time I decided, okay, I should do something about it because uh, sooner or later the warranty will expire, what, where, where, where can I get the streams? So I decided, okay, first of all, I decided to improvise and do something about it. And first uh, was the idea with a 3D printer, but then I realized that, well, uh, it's very thin, it's about 400 microns, so I'm not sure that it will hold that stress when you open and close it. Uh, after some considerations, I decided to use my CNC router and machine them. So, and it worked. I used uh, polyamide or nylon. Mm, these shims are very flexible, so you can easily install them. However, they have this, uh, as it was machined uh, as a flat object, uh, those uh, stoppers, the round stoppers, they are flat as well. So. If you bend 400 microns uh, film, this one and a half millimeter pin does not bend at all. Um, so what um, the good news that they fit in. The bad news that, or oh, like the negative side of it, that the leg doesn't really slide easily in and out. So you have to, so it doesn't fall out. But I find it as a success anyways, because I can easily machine them and replace them whenever I want. So here is one already installed. I can show you right now. Here you have it. So they fit in exactly where they should be. And um, you put them in, find the right place, probably this way, yeah, and this way, this is the other way. They are asymmetric, so have to remember which way they go in, right, right. This is the way. And um, close it. Now you can open it, close it. It doesn't rotate. So I call it a success. Um, I can, now I can uh, manufacture the others as well. And uh, especially after 
last time at break, I decided to check the others and I found out that some of them already cracked. So sooner or later, they will fail. And I'm happy that now I can easily replace them with the, man with the manufactured parts. So here you have it, my fix on a shim failure in a Sirui tripod. Um, I think this might work also for other tripods which have similar constructions. Um, all right, so if you have questions, um, uh, some comments, ideas, um, suggestions, please let me know. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye.